This panorama shows the interior of a crater which is about 0.6 miles in diameter. Perseverance rover was parked at the west side of the crater's rim on a light-toned rocky outcrop when it took this image. The view here is looking across the crater towards the distant east-northeast wall of the much larger Zezero crater at the center of the image some 25 miles away. Created by a meteorite impact eons ago, impact craters like this can offer grand views and contain vertical cuts that provide important clues to the geologic history of the area. The view here shows multiple locations of bedrocks exposed in vertical cross-section. One of these exposed sections of bedrock located on the hill is angled steeply downward and is nearly 65 feet tall. Called dipping beds, such a steeply angled bedrock section could indicate the presence of a large Martian sandbar made of sediment that billions of years ago was deposited by a river flowing into the lake that Zezero crater once held. The most distant point on the crater's rim, just to the left of center, is about 3500 feet away from the rover. The large boulder seen in the far right of the image is about 65 feet away and is about 5 feet in diameter. This spider-like terrain is located in the south polar region on Mars and evolves in appearance over the spring and summer. In the season shown here, the thin bright lines on the surface that look like spider legs are troughs and many of these features have dark, fan-shaped markings emanating from them. The current theory for how these patterns are formed is that during winter, a carbon dioxide ice layer develops over the surface. When sun rays strike this surface, this carbon dioxide ice acts in a similar way to our atmosphere. That is, it allows the sunlight to penetrate but traps the infrared radiation, creating a greenhouse-like effect. 
the trapped heat transforms the ice at the bottom of the layer to gas, building up pressure until it bursts through. When that happens, the gas flows out in geyser-like fashion and carries dust with it which falls back to the surface to form the dark fans. Curiosity rover took this selfie in the middle of a massive dust storm. Immediately noticeable in the image is the thickness of the dust surrounding Curiosity as the whole background is covered by a thick haze completely blocking out mountains in the distance. Despite being covered by Martian dust due to the storm however, Curiosity remains fully operational thanks to its radioisotope thermoelectric generator which converts heat from plutonium into electricity, enabling it to work despite being devoid of sunlight. This panorama looks west toward the rim of Zezero Crater. Perseverance rover's Mastcam Z instrument captured this view when the rover was about halfway through a boulder field that was 0.6 miles wide.
This view shows erosional features on light-toned rocks in a crater near the equator of Mars that has been nearly filled with sedimentary rocks. The sediments here are very distinctive and the rocks show a sharp change in color partway down the slope, indicating a change in the properties of the rock, probably due to a different composition. The erosional features have alcoves with aprons downslope and in some cases have hints of channels, potentially due to abrasion by falling debris. These morphologies bear some resemblance to gullies commonly found in the mid-latitudes, which are often thought to have formed due to erosion by liquid water from melting snow. Near the equator, however, snow melt in Mars's recent climate is less likely. The panorama here was taken during midday on Mars, which shows the red planet as kind of pinkish and bluish. Most people imagine the surface of Mars as violent orange-red, but in reality it's this sort of hazy mix.